a month we'll all gather here to watch not just deep cuts but the real weird shit the, the stuff so far out of the way you cannot find it to send a bill you, you cannot find it to send junk mail it is off the grid my name's Tom Green my socials are down here welcome everyone I see, uh, see, Big Timers Club on YouTube is here. Pep Pep is here. Matt P3000, Brenticus Maximus, Buddha Bull, the dude is here. Uh, Prior Fire Pro Spooky, No Mercy, Saggy Hydrox, Jax, age 43. Um, of course, my good longtime close personal friend, Brian Dermody is here. Music, music needs to come down a little bit. Okay, I'm bringing the music down a little bit. All right, hopefully everyone can hear me better now. Um, Will Scott 55 is here. I see a lot of familiar faces. Callum Dallas, I do know, uh, not any old British wrestlers personally, but I know I'm a big world of sport guy. Uh, uh, Cat Weasel is one of my favorites of all time. All right, so tonight we're going to the Bay Area to watch Bay Area Wrestling. It's a uh, Northern California independent that had a TV show in 1992. It is something. Um, so without any further ado, I think we need to go. Hey, Mike Cicerone. Hopefully your team wins. I know nothing about football, so... Turning the audio up a little bit on my end, so I'll make it choppy for a second. Bailey might have been watching this as a tyke. She was a little one, I assume. Hey, number one Gunkle. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Bailey. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't know why the chat is doing two things at once. As always, the fans here in the studio. Yeah, decent little, California decent little action. looking TV show. Always let me know if it is too loud, too soft. Hello, Tower. I saw your butt emoji earlier. Sorry for not shouting you out. Jack Darnell from the uh, Mountain Goats. All right, here we go. Jamming Jason Rogers. Oh boy, I, I already love this. This guy's great. Hey Nathan, you're just time for jamming Jason Rogers. Ultra Mask. So we have a fake machine being accompanied to the ring by a fake killer bee. We've already got we've already got two ripoffs. The first match hasn't even started. We got uh uh, fake sha -na, na in the crowd. Hey, Suzanimal. Welcome. This able competitor brings a refreshing... No this able competitor. I'm, I mean, I'm glad he's not disabled. Okay, so let, let's have a talk about Ultra Mask. You cannot call yourself something awesome like Ultra Mask and then come out and just be like wearing black trunks. That'd be like if Jushin Liger took that name as a young boy. Oh, wait a minute. Who is this that I see? 
top of this match is the mat. Yes. We have mentioned it before on the broadcast. Yeah, Bowser from Sean and Oz in the crowd. We're halfway to a complete line. How the wood squares. Shadow Stevens for the steal. Boy, that ultra mask is not wasting any time, Pat. He is not. Jason Rogers now turning it around. So the one commentator, the one that was the ring announcer a second ago, really professional, great voice. The other guy appears to be on a smoke break. This was July 92, I believe, up near San Francisco, California. Also, Ultra Mask appears to have one therapeutic knee pad. Save in Syracuse, thank you. I appreciate it. Tip of the cap. Jam and Jason getting jammed right now. As Fake Killer B at ringside is clapping along. This can be turned into a chokehold. Okay, the video needs to go up a little. That's totally fine. I can do that. A bonus stream, two hours. Two hours just like Deep Cuts Live. Don't want to keep anyone too late tonight. Also, I only have two episodes of Bay Area Wrestling. All right. We've got Jamie Jason Rogers. I'm seeing this with you guys for the first time. I try to not pre-watch stuff. Because I would like... For us to all live it together. In deep trouble there, Pat. In deep trouble. You know, Woody, I was going to say that uh, the mask was really being... I think there were more episodes taped. I just think there aren't that many archived. Like, there's a documentary on YouTube uh, I didn't get a chance to watch. Ultra mask being, uh, or applying that, rather, to Jason Rogers. Hey, Fanatic Gamer. Yeah, nobody, none of us know these wrestlers. But watch, the, the the Ultra Mask, he takes off the mask and he's like, I don't know, young John Cena? Good evening, Cajun Jungle Tigre. What was that pin? Let me just put you right under the ropes. See if the referee notices. Look at that, Roger says, come on. He's taking the punishment, but he's ready. Yeah, jamming Jason Rogers. Come on, baby, I'm here to fight. here and the fans are here. It's uh, wrestling at its best right here in the uh, studios. That's right. Hell yeah. This is wrestling at its best. As always, we remind uh, the viewers at home that if they want to join us for the tapings live here in the studios in Newark, California. I would love to join you for the tapings live. All they have to do live. is call the Bay Area Wrestling Hotline at area code 510 <laughs> Excellent technical wrestling. That's technically wrestling. That's right, Brian. Of each month, but call early because the reservations get taken up fast. Tonight, for example, I'm pretty sure the audience is like the friends and families of the wrestlers. Ultra Mask like has to be. Working on the leg. Well, Thank you, you Mr. The Rain 231. I blame it on the rain. Girl, you know it's true. If that's Dr. Death Steve Williams under that mask, Again, I, must, uh, reiterate, and I, don't I will put my head in a toilet. But, uh, I will drive my com my computer to the bathroom, put my head in the toilet. If that is Dr. Death Steve Williams. The Naughty Wasp. Yes, hello, Mr. Rain. Welcome to the chat. Glad to have you. Yes, Dr. Death was under the mask on Learning the Ropes. Lyle Alzado's stunt double. That's right. Hey, GSF Mo. Welcome. Thank you um, for bringing the stale crackers and soda. Go follow GSF Mo. Please, please don't make me regret that. I hope there's nothing like, you know... Please don't be a fascist or like a racist or anything. As long as you're not like awful. Yeah, promote it. Yeah, that's, that's you. I'm as close as we could get without being involved in the match, and I didn't see it. This crowd is fascinating. Yeah, we got Bowser from Shannon on the crowd. We've got at least two different fake Oliver Humperdings. A lot of children that appear to have been there held at gunpoint. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you're not like racist or homophobic or anything on your streams, GSF Mo, go follow him. What a good move. 
I need a shirt out. Comes, I missed you a moment ago. Sorry about that. Yeah, this, this, there were a, there were a lot of Bay Area wrestlings across the country. Jam and Jason. It's just not. He's struggling out there. Look at look at his face. Yeah, there. That's right. There are two huge guys at ringside. Also. I'm pretty sure uh, that's Mae Young at ringside. I'm not joking. The lady with the headset with the sparkly dress? I'm almost positive that's Mae Young. She uh, she worked a lot with the Bay Area wrestling group. She did commentary for them. And then later on, uh, uh, Crash Holly. You might have seen Crash Holly in the intro with a mullet. Um, he would go and tell people he was trained by Mae Young. A big boot to the forehead. A big boot. <laughs> oh. What a finish! The heels are just dumb. And cheating in front of the ring. Yes, Aaron O'Grady. The one and only. But Jam and Jason. It's getting beaten up. That's right. Yes, thanks, Madison Carter. May Young was a heel here. Ooh, we get we get cool effects. That is a great opener. And it's just that's it. With me is Alan Bolte, distinguished writer for Wrestling World magazine. Hell yeah! Alan, this guy should have been in the Royal Rumble press conference last night. This guy would have asked questions about NDAs and about safeguarding. And I do highly endorse Bay Area Wrestling. If you want to get started in the exciting world... Of oh, beautiful nose the guy. Take cool. Take Alan Bolte and Wrestling World Magazine. It's Bay Area Wrestling. Hell yeah, thank you, Mr. Rain. Yeah, I love I love if showing the folks. I love I love watching with world wrestling world with you guys. Bay Area Wrestling is now accepting applications for men and women wrestlers and That's the OG APW ring announcer. Right that makes sense. Makes wrestling. sense. In just a few short months, you will yeah, more wrestling shows, shows need wrestling more segments where somebody just comes out and it's like, I endorse, uh, I don't know, TNA Wrestling. How many of these guys do I think have a cage match? I know Aaron O'Grady does. I would be surprised if the number is more than three. Okay, Woody Farmer probably does. I've heard of Woody Farmer. A Lumber Space Jack match. Main event Lumberjack match pits Woody Farmer against the Spanish Hitman. Pittsburgh, don't miss it. Stop by and test drive a new Ford at Al Ames Ford. This is a new promotion. In, more indie groups need to advertise. Come test drive a car at our show. Any world of sports streams down the line? Maybe. Um, again, I do WCW every Tuesday. I'm, I'm stringent WCW every Tuesday, but these off-the-grid streams, I'm cool doing a whole lot. There's anything that will not get me blocked off YouTube. Because these, these streams are partially to give the YouTube followers a live show. Yeah, all promotions local. With, with groups like this. With no Hell yeah. Call this number now to order. It's like being courtside for eight all-star games, and there's only one way to see every minute of every game live. The Olympics Triple Pass. Call this Hell yeah. for the dream team. The Olympics Triple Pass. The only way to this see is what we had back in the day, kids. Is that a peacock? Or like Bleacher Report on Max? Olympics on pay-per-view is kind of weird. I actually have some of that promotion, that IPW promotion with Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Um, I have some of that, so maybe we will watch that. It's very weird. Jumpin' Jeff Farmer is like the top end of those guys. Guys, crust, crispy, sauce, spicy, toppings, tons, get real, get round table. Whew. Gotta go. Not NWO Sting Jeff Farmer. Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Yup. The guy from the meme. We're ready with more action on Bay Area Big Radio. fan of the ring announcer. This guy's a pro. Scheduled for one fall and a 15-minute time limit with referee Jack Darnell. Again, is it the guy from the Mountain Goats? The fantastic Gary King. 
What's up, Mr. Rain? Yeah, you can ask a question. Look at this guy. This is a wrestler. And his opponent tonight is being escorted to his to the ring by his valet. To his ring? As my dogs are going nuts in the background. Hell yeah. Yeah, the announcer's probably like a salesman for the TV station, and that's how they got the hookup. You are some of my favorite wrestlers. Right now, my favorite modern wrestler is Eddie Kingston. That dude freaking rules. Uh, favorite all time, probably Lord Steven Regal. Maybe Arn Anderson. Um, but yeah, right now, Eddie Kingston, Brian Danielson, um, Ishii, Tomohiro Ishii. Yeah, this woman is 1992 personified for sure. Off-brand Black Bart, Shane Cody. Maybe he's Psycho Sam Cody's brother. Remember Psycho Sam Cody from that Deep Cut stream a few months ago? Billy Jeff Vance. Yeah, he's ripping off like five different wrestlers here. Yeah, Danielson Nagata last night was dope. Really enjoyed that. I haven't gotten to see the rest of the show. Yet. Oh, why is he grabbing her hair? He's what a dickhead! What an asshole! Very cool, Mr. Rain. I, I, I enjoy myself. Some Johnny Singh, some Satoru Sayama. But yeah, this guy! I don't like this baby face. He sucks. That woman, that poor woman did nothing to him. What do you have to say? I'm a little, uh... I'm a little flustered from uh, that verbal assault I took on the top of that match. From the like, Sam Cody's abusing our friend, the announcer. As John Darnielle from the Mountain Goats is just letting it go. And you can't, you can't grab a woman by the hair and then start, come on, baby. No. Look at you is a very funny name. For a Pikachu ripoff. That's very cool, Callum. Like, Sh like Shane Cody here. He's kind of doing Black Bart. Kind of doing Black Jack Mulligan. Uh, kind of doing Billy Jack Haynes. But also, like, like neck up, he's kind of doing like a Jimmy Garvin with Sunshine. Which is a weird influence for a guy like this. But, you know, take it how you can get it. I'm a fan. I didn't, again, this baby face I'm not a fan of, but does she, oh, she has a cowbell and a, okay, it's a whip. I thought it was like a, like a cord, like she's carrying like a, like a battery charger for him. Yeah, the, all these guys are locals. This is what indie wrestling used to look like. It still does in some areas, but this is what it used to look like everywhere. Each and every one of them. As Cody gets a two count. There are fans Key. harassing the referee. He Love that. Well, Rican was all right. Could have been better. Thank you for asking, Angel Jungle Tigre. Hope yours is good. Yeah, more cowboy. Referee, the, the promotion initials are bah, like a sheep. What it amazes me how high. That is a good gimmick. Rodeo Queen Pageant Valley. That is a good it's a good gimmick. Yes, he can. Look at the fans. Yeah, Brian, you got a good point. This guy's not grizzled enough to be like an old cowboy dude. The mountain stew. Hell yeah. And you've got to admit, Cody buying a little bit of time here. Oh yes. He knows what he's doing. Exactly what he's doing. It's not taking him Let's long. say, let's just throw out wrestling is completely on the level. There's a need of the balls, but um, would any other sport just let the coach at ringside walk around with multiple weapons? Like, I don't know much about football, but like right now, the NFC championship game, or like the coaches walk around with like whips and cowbells. Threatening the other players. Yeah, this is Sunday Night Ball. Yes. 
Uh, ooh, baby doll can paw. Baby doll was like kind of a dirty blonde, I think. Yeah, the single row of chairs on that side is great. Um, true, baseball managers do have easy access to bats, but I'm pretty sure the third base coach isn't like holding a bat, swinging it around while he's trying to like signal. <laughs> Belichick probably had some stuff in his office. See, I'm not a big sports guy. Well, I'm sure some of these guys are crazy, but like, whenever I turn on sports, like, Phil Jackson wasn't like holding a pistol. <laughs> that was a low blow in front of the referee. John Darnie. No children. Thank you for the sub. Subs give me strength. They are like my deca. Okay, Junior Gold Tigre's getting uh, gift subs from No Mercy. He is our patron saint of subs. Thank you. Thank you, No Mercy. Is it either proto ECW referee or it's a referee that does not give a shit? This guy got to the building, found out that he had to ref all the matches at the TV taping, and he's pissed. That being said, we need the the ref shirts with like the zipper that goes down to like nipple level. We need those to come back. That's the lowest hip toss I've ever seen. Yeah, Lori's just throwing the whip out. You can't do that. Yeah, this guy's way too hairless. Yeah, the referee's dressed nice. The referee looks handsome. Just need to enforce some rules here. Those mustard yellow NWA ref shirts ruled. And I'll tell you, I am not easily impressed. I have literally seen thousands of wrestling matches. I can see that. I can see this key dude looking like, yeah, he, I could looking like Tommy and Johnny Rich. This is terrific wrestling. And you're getting it right here on the sports channel. From Bay that was decent. As Gary Key gets a takedown and a two count on Shane Cody. Okay, Woody Farmer, who's involved in this. Uh, Shane Cody is his son. Makes sense. Okay. Nepotism from the top of the industry to the bottom. And I mean, it's a good point. Imagine if your son comes on TV showing off way more chest hair than you. You'd be embarrassed. Separating those lips? That sounds lewd. Oh, gosh. My dog fucking hates when heels cheap. Lovely Lori, the valet, hitting him with the, uh, the whip right in the midsection. Not something that will really hurt him, but <laughs> stink for a while. Key fights back. To the midsection, to the face. Since okay, Shane Cody has been the booker of big time wrestling out in New Newark, California for the last 20 years or so. And he apparently worked a handful of job matches as a Rex Farmer. Again, I don't know what's going on with my dog. I apologize. Shane Cody Rhodes. He's going to finish the story, and this this story sucks. Again, what is going on with this promotion? Like every finish is just, just I don't know, fucking hurt the baby face. Imagine if Shane Cody's like, I can't lose to this guy. I'm Woody Farmer's son. Friday night, July 10th in Pittsburgh. Will this man regain his championship? Along with Valley Lovely Lori Hawkeye Shane Cody. Hawkeye Shane Cody, oh yeah. You're a crook. You come out here, you stole my belt. You're not no champion. I know it. Everyone out there in TV land knows it. July 10th. I'm hey, Razor Jim. You know what? It might help your looks out a little bit. So, Pat, get all your tickets for all the action of Bay Area Wrestling coming up Friday night, July 10th. This guy's way too, like, nice and happy. Like, if I, if I were just... I'm just watching this for the first time. Okay. But I'm like, is that guy the, the good guy? Hey, guys. Come out to the armory. I, my belt got stolen. 
Very cool Razor Gym. We might watch some like New Age of Memphis Wrestling when some of these off the grid streams true. There's a lot of it out there now, and it's very bad and very weird. The mirror image video is the group that ran this. Honestly, they didn't do a bad job. I cannot. I, I can't bash them too much. Like, I think this is a Sunday morning, like show in California. Oh, the ref used to have a mullet. Referee John Darnell used to have a mullet. Very cool. I'm so excited to see some of these other guys in this commercial. Hello there! Ooh. Oh, what a surprise! What are all these people doing here? Oh, PG and E gets visitors. Ooh, yeah, I can't, I can't bash the, uh, I can't bash the production. Yeah, somebody should call the hotline. It's probably just like Shane Cody's personal phone number. Like you're gonna wake him up. He probably goes to bed at like seven. Do you actually know all these people? Sure, you know I do get around. I can imagine. And they just taped it in a studio in Newark. Thank you, thank you, Budabol. Broadway Volkswagen. Broadway only sells the trouble-free Volkswagen. Fancy. Broadway's got them all. As easy as one, two, three. Take a Broadway Volkswagen test drive. Check the big dollar savings. No dicker sticker. Now, make your hassle-free buy. It's that easy. Over 100 brand new trouble-free VWs on Broadway. The East Bay's exclusive Volkswagen dealer. Sales and factory trained service technicians. Broadway Volkswagen at 27th on Broadway in Oakland. Out here, there's always plenty of time to think, and I've been wondering if that's a like Shane that Cody promo. Thank you. Well, but no to Great Western, <laughs> I won't lose any sleep over it. See, Great Western Bank has a 24 hour hotline that you can call to check up on your checking account day or night, seven days a week. I don't believe for a second this guy had a wireless phone. Check it out. 24 hours. This guy just out in the Great wilderness, West. cowboying around with a cell phone. The 90s were a different time, my friends. Where, yeah, you had to, like, find somebody through a newsletter, hope that they would send you the tape. And our next matchup scheduled for one call and the 10 minute time limit with referee Jack Darnell. Seriously, Jack Darnell, John Darnell, whoever, is probably so mad. Just motherfucking the other referees under his breath. New favorite. Hell yeah, show those titties. Show those titties, baby. Oh yeah. This guy's great. I love this guy. Yeah, this is my new favorite wrestler. <laughs> How are you laying? Appears to be five feet tall. And this should be quite a matchup for his opponent. It should be quite a matchup. Thank you. Hell yeah. Oh, he's radical because he's like politically radicalized. That's cool. I thought he was going to be like a skateboard dude, like radical. No, this guy's. <laughs> Who's that guy in the front row? I'm sorry for blowing everybody's ears out. There's like a, gi a giant dude. I think Brian pointed him out earlier. That guy's huge in the front row. This is the old skyscrapers theme. And they just gave it to like the weird conspiracy guy. It's great to see a new face arrive. Luke Adonis, my favorite. Luscious Luke Adonis. It's Robbie Lee. I'm dying. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. This guy's awesome. These both these guys are awesome. Dream match. Studios and Woody, what do you think of this? Oh my gosh, we found Chris Cole. <laughs> Where did he come from? I want to know everything. Okay, uh, I want to know everything about Luscious Luca Donis. Nor in any other match. Radical Robbie Lee would be like the standout. That's such a funny gimmick. Uh, Lucius Luca Donis is good. Go I did not expect that. Oh, we lost that hat. I don't think that I don't know. 
Robbie Lee does kind of look like Steve Buscemi and like uh, uh, fucking uh, not Big Daddy, the one where he uh, uh, the one where he falls in love with uh, Winona Ryder. Um, shit, everybody will know exactly what I'm talking about. Mr. Deeds, Mr. Deeds. All right, we got a we had a Viking Barbie update. Viking Barbie was a big subject a couple months ago in the chat. Viva says, uh, Suzanne says, uh, I think Jeep Swinson's daughter Viking Barbie did a duet with Jelly Roll from a WWE fan. Yeah, Robbie Lee absolutely looks like Steve Buscemi and Mr. Deeds. Um, Luke Adonis is one of a kind. Hey, Doctor Funkopolis. I think he's got Kurt Henning's hair. Definitely. Also, I have no idea who the heel's supposed to be. Robbie Lee looks like he does like you like Facebook live streams every day from his car. Oh. Um. I, I can't tell. I, I don't know which way politically Robbie Lee would lean. He's definitely far left or far right. But I can tell if he would be all about Hunter Biden's laptop. Or I, I don't know. Two count. Referee Jack Darnell with his hands full, keeping in tabs with this. I think if he's far left. Then referee John Darnielle of the Mountain Goats is going to favor him. He does look like Rico Suave. Yes, very much so. Also, why is that dude's mullet? He's just like showing off his mullet in front of the camera. I haven't seen Let's Just Luke wrestle before. Neither have I. We're all learning together. Oh boy, do you see him talking? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Robbie Lee takes all the vaccines. I think Luscious Luke. Including some that we haven't heard of. A little bit of Joey Mags. Yeah, the, 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 ref, the fans are right up on that ring. What the hell is going on? Look, look at that, it's just like tied. And Robbie Lee's doing leapfrogs over him. What the hell? This, this is great. This match rules. Front row's pretty much on the apron because there's no room in that studio. I will go look for some Slammer stuff because Slammer's has always fascinated me. The Gargoyle. I used to see him in magazines. Always scared me. Oh, Robbie Lee is like going on about conspiracy stuff. This is great. I ain't taking the jab. I can't tell if Luke Adonis is really good and really bad. Like, he'll do something that's like, oh, that looks better than what I thought. And then he'll just lay there when he's supposed to be doing a drop down and be like, what the hell? Like, they're just doing a cat fight now. Oh, yeah, I'm not surprised neither of these dudes are on cage match. That's a... I think that's a chin lock. He's just kind of shaking him up there. What? I think we have another commentator. Look at how big that dude is in the, in the white tank top. Oh, he originated the what catchphrase. Steve Austin owes this guy money. What? What? I wonder, I th I'm sure this dude on Facebook for years has been bitching about Steve Austin. I guarantee you. Oh, you know what? I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Dave Meltzer did watch this. This was in his area. Robbie Lee. Okay, apparently Robbie Lee's the baby face. And now he's just going to kill the man. He's trying to kill this man. This is somehow this is the first match with a real finish. Look at Donna. I can see Francis Buxton. Yes. Radical Robbie Lee defeated our new favorite, Luca Donna. We get some 
Moose Eric Andre show with the I'm Alan Bolte, July Come on. 10th in Pittsburgh. We're gonna find Whitney some stuff Bunker out Bruce's, now. The Spanish hitman in a lumberjack match. This man here, Fuck yeah. radical Robbie Lee, is one of the lumberjacks. I ain't no stinking lumberjack. <laughs> I ain't chopping no trees. What? No, you're you're not chopping trees. You're gonna be one of the lumberjacks. Not a wrestler or a tree lumberjack. What? What? This man, one of the lumberjacks, this guy's great. Robbie Lee, Pittsburgh, be there. Apparently, it's not. Like, okay, it's just uh, Donald. Cap is on. Red cap off. Check. Yeah, we saw this earlier. This is literally just uh, Tim and Eric. The red light is on. Red light on and check. You can probably hear my laundry going off. Time to record. And... This whole show has kind of felt Tim and Eric y, and that does not help. At Sam's Dates Dive, LaCrysler Plymouth. Now, the biggest selection of Sam's Dick Dive. Go get an El Dorado at, at Sam's Dick TV. Dive. And on top of that, take up to $1,600 in factory equipment rebates, up to $1,600. I feel like every family, ABS brakes, when I was growing up, had that van. And child seats. Your total savings will be big on a Bam! I'm having so much fun in my car seats. Sam's Dates Dive, LaCroixer Plymouth, and Voyager in Concord. Yes. These guys are booked every Saturday morning, but other than that, well, they'll film your wedding. still seems like a dream, but you don't have to be an Olympic marathoner to enjoy the benefits of running. Hi, I'm Frank Shorter from Runner's World Magazine. Is that like a joke name? Twenty minutes. Three he times looks a week, pretty petite. Trim down, shape up, and have more energy than you ever thought possible. This free book shows you how. God, this has been great so far. Great decision on my on run. my behalf. And it's yours free. Just and I have no doubt this man is very fast. Runner's World tells you all about I'm just concerned that his name, his last name, got him mocked a lot. Even <laughs> just told the magazine. Call Thank now you, Brian. Your no risk trial subscription to Runner's World. You'll get 12 big issues for almost half off. I like that one. Just three payments of five ninety nine. Shane Fonda was showing some leg there. If you're not completely satisfied, get back every penny you paid. And with your paid subscription, you'll receive the exclusive Healing Runner's foods. World training log. Call the God, this is we still got like now. another episode and a half to go. More excitement is on the way as we're ready for more action on Bay Area Wrestling. Hell yeah. And our next matchup set for one fall and a fifth. Yeah, that's this is what off the grid's going to be. It's going to be obscure Jeff stuff I can find. Let's first welcome to the ring area. <laughs> what could they possibly fill 12 issues of a running magazine? Here we go. Aaron O'Grady, a.k.a. Crash Holly. I have a feeling he's going to be by far the best guy in this promotion. Okay, Pep Pep put some stuff into prerogative with, for us. Uh, WWF was building the Bretton Bulldog at this time. For... Oh, shit. Oh, that, here we go. We got Mae Young. Okay, Radical Robbie Lee, Madison Carter on YouTube, type Mad Ra Ra Radical Robbie Lee into Google. Only wrestling result it brought up was something about him working a small show with a rookie Jericho. After a recent injury, he's back with all the moves. All right, Crash Holly's name was Johnny P Pearson. Johnny Pearson. Also, why? It gets, wait, Never this guy's the Spanish hitman? Will attempt to execute his next contract to like, I know wrestling's bad man. about, uh, As the fans not letting Spanish people of nationalities Boy. portray themselves. And there they are, Spanish hitman, along with his manager, the great May Young, and he will do battle Why? in the squared circle. There's a lot happening here right now. There's a lot. Yeah, we got young Johnny Pearson oh boy. <laughs> Johnny against the Spanish hitman with May Young in the corner. She's interfering already. Like you can already tell they haven't even touched each other. And Johnny Pearson's already the best guy here. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Spanish man's great aunt. They lock up. 
Pearson gets thrown into the ropes. His name is hit Paul. Man. Paul the Spanish uh, Hitman. Um, Spanish Hitman, there's no way he's like more than 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, he's shorter than Johnny Pearson. Johnny Pearson was short. Is Frankie Sharp from Sharp Records? John Darneal again, the referee. Yeah. Yeah, do you think do you think Crash Holly like lived through this and is like what if I just said I was four hundred pounds? Yeah. May Young in this promotion in Canon is running a Spanish crime ring. A Spanish crime syndicate as Nathan put it. Oh yeah, he just, he's by he's awesome. He's compared to everybody else on the show, he's like Jushin Liger. <laughs> There's no space there. I'm not even making a comment about his size. I'm not gonna do that. Low hanging fruit. There's just no space there. Like, I kind of like the idea of Mae Young running, a, like, a, a mob. Like, I think that's very inspired. I'm just... just the Spanish hitman. She does look like Mrs. Garrett! Oh my goodness. I was thinking uh, more uh, Estelle Getty and Shut Up Where My Mom Will Shoot, but that's that's much better. Joe's gonna come out as the Spanish Hitman's muscle. Yeah, Spanish Hitman going outside the ring looks like when like I'm at the mall, I can't find a parking spot, and there's one, but the asshole like parks right on the line, and I have to like squeeze out. Yeah, who would have thought that of the three people in this match, two of them would have ended up in the WWF, and the Spanish Hitman was not one of them. Do you think the Spanish Hitman ever like called up Crash Holly or Mei Young? Like, hey, could you get me a look? Yeah, Crash's tights are very good. What was that? That was almost good. Like, I think that would have been really cool if it wasn't against the Spanish Hitman. <laughs> that was a DQ in the first match, and now John Darnell is just letting him go. I guess so, because when her man is pinned for a count of six, the referee doesn't see it. And now Mae Young's just going to put him in a hold. Now she's working the leg of Johnny Pearson. That's a good point. He could be paid off, yes. She's just going to kill him now. Again, crime syndicate. This is good. This is good stuff. Oh, this is way less difficult than watching the AWF. I will. If you're gonna be bad, be way bad. And now Mae Young's just getting in the ring. I'm pr I'm sure that interference spot was supposed to be like five seconds long, like just like a little bit of a choke, and then you let go. And May is like, "Fuck it, we're gonna run a spot." The ring from the Spanish hitman and from the great May Young. Like, I think May worked more with Pearson. Crash Holly than Gets the Spanish hitman the did. Spanish hitman after him. Oh! All right, Madison Carter. May was actually part of a legit crime ring in her early days Pearson. before the Moola yeah. stuff. So she's got experience. And defiantly, almost, the hitman. Method acting. Putting that boot to the back of the neck. Another slap. Pearson really has to regain his uh, senses now and find out where he is and get a plan for this match back. God, As why? He's to do, reversing it on the head mat. Now he's going to take him down. Ooh. Woody, that Always love when a wrestler has to stop selling so he can pull his pants up. Oh. Arm 
Yeah, this rep just does not care about nut shots. There's a can of two. <laughs> yeah, she she gets she gets out of the nursing home for three hours a week. She's gonna work her spots. Okay, I'm, and I'm gonna say it by the way. Crash Holly ruined his hair with that bleach. Good hair to hair on a young Johnny Pearson here. Good head of hair. Now they're just starting over the match. We're just going right back to a lockup. Buying some time. Johnny Pearson said, this guy's nuts. Why didn't he want to wrestle? What did we come here for? No. But just start over. I think Johnny's kind of smart but not doing what he wanted to. <laughs> May Young almost fell over outside the I ring. Jack Darnell wanting to get both of the... Uh, Competitors back to the middle of the I think race. everyone just Continuing got lost match. and forgot what they were supposed I'll to tell do. Them and remind them one more time that is what we came here for. Wanting once again to go for the uh, strength showdown. I don't know if Pearson's going to fall for this whole trick. Or oh yeah, Crash way. Holly. If he came along these days, um, I don't know if he would have been like a huge like main event star, but he would have gotten. He would have gotten a way more legit chance than he got. And he got a, he had a good spot in the Attitude Era. Don't get me wrong. That he's remembered forever. But I think he would have been able to like get by more on his like wrestling skill. I think the Spade of Shitman just like took a break. Now we might get back to some wrestling. Back to that leg. The forehead. It's the hitman. All over Pearson. It's the hitman. Seriously, Johnny Pearson's way too good for this place. And Mae Young's just in the ring again. I would love to have a copy of the Barrier Wrestling rule book. I think John Darnell's just tired. Oh god, oh god, okay. So he landed him flat. The Spanish Hitman. See, the WWF was pushing the Hitman, so so goes the WWF, so goes the Indies. Yeah, Crash Holly, like even walking around, like his footwork is so much better than everybody here. It's coming up Friday, oh hell yeah in Pittsburgh the lumberjack match. I can't wait to hear this the bad accent against Woody Farmer with his I love manager, bad accents <laughs> <of, laughs> I, I shrunk the Joseph son. Park you took that chair and hit my man and I believe me right now I believe you're me. getting this lumberjack match I don't know what you think you're trying to pull but you're gonna <laughs> still get beat Woody Farmer see the lumberjack match Friday night John let him talk in Pittsburgh this didn't, you, you can't look Friday tough. Night, July 10th, Who the Pittsburgh, Is that Woody Farmer? Against the Spanish ship, man. It'll be this man in a lumberjack match. Woody Farmer. Dad, do you know where the lumberjack originated from? So we have uh, Elvis impress impersonator Woody Farmer against five foot four Spanish hitman with May Young at ringside in the main event. Yeah, I certainly hope. The Pittsburgh Armory is way bigger than this studio. It's time. Yeah, that's Woody Farmer. That's like Bay Area wrestling legend Woody Farmer. Pittsburgh, California. Action returns Friday night, July 10th, at the Boys and Girls Club of East County. Yeah, Woody Farmer was a rookie. The Spanish hitman. Pittsburgh. Mutables got a link to where they filmed this. If anyone would like to see that. Again, more like more indie should do the get two tickets, test drive a Ford. Or the other way around. On baseball's opening day, two men came Oh shit, it's literally a house? That's the awesome! Game. Makes it even better. But instead of merely watching the game, they played along with it live on Interactive Network. I predicted this. Oh. This is no video game, no wires, no software. Interactive Network is a revolutionary new system that allowed these men to watch the ball game and predict the action live. Got that. These guys they were on Twitter other, before Twitter. Other members of Interactive Network oh, I love that. Same game with the chance to win prizes. They discovered they're dancing, they they're baseball, singing, but basketball, world and National League football, boxing, TV game shows, even mysteries. The men were overcome at being among the, the one guy's crying. This, yeah, this is 
FanDuel. This is DraftKings. With word processors. Watch TV, play TV. Ah, man, we need to get our hands on one of those. Features the Detroit Tigers against the Oakland Bays and the Philadelphia Phillies against the San Francisco Giants. Enjoy your Bay Area favorites back to back. This is like Brutus P. Cake's entrance music. Owens on the drive. He wheels and deals. All right, we cannot buy tickets to the Lumberjack match. Vertigus Maximus just called. The number has been disconnected, unfortunately. Recycle. Yeah, recycle. That's a great shot to come back to. Spanish Hitman almost dead. We got more, hell yeah. And our next matchup tonight, set for one fall and the 20 minute time limit with referee Jack Darnell. It is for the Bay Area Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. This is the real match. Here we go. The Bay Area Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, there's no way you can find anything about Interactive Network. Oh, I love, this guy's great. This, this guy has to be like jamming Jimmy's partner. This man is the the champion of the bay. The is now his Down way by the, the bay, the evil, where the watermelon grows, that man's the champ. Hell yeah, S and M Ivan Koloff. You know he's a bad guy because he comes out to this song. Bow. This guy, why is everybody here is like smaller than the referee? He is the type of champion that all wrestling fans hope for, and they finally found their man. Yes, Johnny, Johnny Star. Star. I hope Johnny Star finishes the story. The he gets past the eliminator, goes to WrestleMania, finishes the story. And it's Pat Shanghai Kim. <laughs> How do you size it I'm up? glad everyone in the Jack chat knew what song I was singing a second ago. Hey, drugs. Popularity. Speaking of drugs, we're watching this show. Um, right Welcome, now. drugs. Appreciate you coming by. Yeah. A lot, lot, of, lot of stellar people in wrestling with the last name Star. No, he's not. He's five foot eight. He is already blown up. He has done an Irish whip, and he is tired. I remember this guy is so tough, so tough that I. Yeah, that that rumbles. Bleh. If Bear Area Wrestling got to run in St. Pete last night, but I was bleeding. I mean, real blood. They would have done a much better, and, much more uh, exciting that's rumble. That's how tough the Eliminator is. He didn't care. Here was another interview to him. Johnny Starr, the champion. Going Johnny back Star over the top. I'm wondering what the Johnny Starr's tattoos say. There's a non-zero chance those are associated with a very problematic gang. A belly-to-belly belly slam. Belly belly slam. Johnny Starr has got to shake it off. No, he doesn't. The there is no way the Eliminator weighs right now. He's a pound over 250. Yeah, I think your boots weigh about 50 pounds a piece. <laughs> Look at those boots. What are they, highway patrol boots? <laughs> I really don't know. I'd imagine that this was Mae Young's house. Like, just down in her basement. Yeah, he could, really could Every Sunday morning, there, people are perking down the ring. I think that's why uh, the, the champ is liked so well. He don't do things like that, you know. He goes out there to wrestle and that's he right. wrestles his match. That's right. Ever since he took the Bay Area Wrestling... See, Johnny Star has the tattoos that you would Shane think Cody the Eliminator would have. Right here on the Sports Channel, uh, what, about two months ago now. He has worn that belt very, very proud. The fans love him. And, uh, of course, uh, with the championship comes all of the endorsements, comes all of the money. That yeah, I'm pretty sure the room I'm recording right now in is guy. bigger than now that look studio. At the, look at the eliminator here. Is, uh, we got a fan at ringside. Like, yeah, I'm bigger than you. I like the guy in the red shirt. The guy in the red shirt should be team, team in Radical Robbie. That, should be, that would be a great team. 
One more, but it doesn't phase him. He remains standing. There goes the big man down to the canvas. He tried to roll out to the ring, and then he realized, oh shit, I'm going to land on a person. God, the Eliminator's so blown up. Look at this action. Oh god, okay. That's a good point of shirt outcomes. Yeah, most of these people look like they're like embarrassed to be there. They're throwing on whatever's in the closet to hide their identity. Except for the two muscle guys who just keep flexing at the wrestlers. And the wrestlers have wrestlers can't trash talk back. They're like, yeah, you are in better shape than me. I, you have not told me that, Drugs. I don't think you have told me about when you met King Kong Bundy. That is very cool. They're trying to lock up. And the Eliminator's like, nope. No, that's uh, that's not Vladimir. That dude's way bigger than Vladimir. This is like, that dude looks the most like a wrestler of anybody we've seen. The Eliminator. Yeah. Oh yeah, it has to be. Like like the like yeah. like Bowser from Shanana is probably going to be on the next episode we watch. And a backbreaker. I'll have to tell you the eliminator's arms are as big as my legs. <laughs> he's he's a big big man. Oh yeah, half of these people in the crowd are involved in organized crime, but they're too embarrassed to come down to Bay Area wrestling. Sending him across the ring. And Oh. Yeah, these guys are both up and win. Again, just there pinning him again. under the rope. And the just throws stars off the top of him. That's a good point of shirt outcomes. Uh, yeah, watching at home, like, I, I, I can be better than these guys. Locking up again in the middle of the ring. Eliminator going across the ring. Coming oh, God, they're both the so line. tired. It's eliminator across this is like if Orange Cassidy worked a full match shot. doing the slow Takes motion the stuff. Start attempting to cover. That's about two and a half. I was gonna say, ha don't sell that, dude. Don't sell that. Boy, Johnny Star's got his hands full tonight. Oh, oh leg drop, but he had the arm out. Oh no. I mean, Johnny's mind right now is the championship worth it. He's got, <laughs> yeah, boy. Is this job and career I chose worth it? Absolutely. You ask yourself. Is this job days, worth it? Tomorrow morning when he wakes up and is sore from this matchup, win or lose, he'll be asking that question again. See, Pat, when you're the champion, you have to take on all Yes, Dr. Un I, you you, you, you completely so understand, you Dr. Fungopolis. This is horrible. This is some of the worst wrestling I've seen. Best show ever. I would watch this every week. Tony Toa, this man, over with a big clothesline boring. There's an attempted cover. That's a two attempted count. cover. And now he's doing the Nixon. I cannot tell a lie. I've never seen kids look sadder at a wrestling show. Like, normally, you see kids, and even at the worst show, and they're yelling and screaming. These kids... Did like did the Spanish hitman come out and was like, hey, I killed your dogs, and then brought out their bodies, like beheaded. He's gonna have something there keeping him going. I think my arm would have been torn off by this time. Look at Oh yeah, these are all the people that used to go to the cop hollow shows. As the wrestlers now resume standing, he just throws him around like he's a rag doll and got him in a face lock. It looks like maybe All right, Bootable, have a good night. Thanks as always. Glad to see you. And yes, Brian throwing in the plug for the Pro Wrestling Potluck Thursdays at 9 p.m. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Green Mist, my good pal and kayfabe cousin Scotland Green hosts uh, a show made of viewer submissions and randomness, wrestling angles, segments, shows, matches, etc. It's great. Hey, Jamie Weisner, I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. All right. The All American? The ring's so close, he can just high five the fans in the third row from like the middle of the ring. What was that? <laughs> it just, it wasn't even like a good punch. 
This is such a weird end, but of course, this is this is how the show should end. Just awkwardness. Yeah, this is legit just the replay music from WCW. All the stars of Bay Area I thought that was the end of the show. California, Friday night, July 10th. Oh, absolutely. I, I prefer Tower. I prefer, uh, like, TV shows because they have promos and angles. And, whereas most indie shows are just, like, tight one-shot. Yeah. But, yeah, absolutely send stuff over. Get your tickets early. It will be all the action of Bay Area Wrestling. Bay Area Wrestling. We get closing credits. Hell yeah, closing credits. Kathy Kearney, the executive producer of this mess. That was probably her at ringside. Woody Farmer was on commentary with Pat Kelly. Yeah, Kathy Kearney, okay. South Bay Cable Vision is that tiny room. Uh, before we go to the next show, this, if you're coming by on Tuesday, this is what we will watch. Ah, it's Vader time, brother! The whole world is gonna see it's Vader time! Alright, time for more Barry Area Wrestling, but Tuesday, pre show Palooza on WW Deep Cuts Live. Yeah, a lot of farmers. A lot of members of the Farmer family were involved with this show. This is the following week's episode. Bash 96 pre-show, if I remember correctly, had a lot of uh, really good matches on it. Vader and Barrier Wrestling? I think he would just, like, I don't know, pick up the ring? I don't think he could fit in that building. The ring and commentator at ringside, Pat Kelly. Also broadcasting from ringside this evening will be Woody Farmer and the great... Wait, aren't you Pat Kelly? And our timekeeper is Kathy Kearney. Ladies and gentlemen, on Friday evening, July 26th, the world of professional wrestling lost one of its legendary Oh, we're going to get a, a eulogy on that night after a Bay Area career, Wrestling. Nature Boy Buddy Rogers passed away. We ask now that you join in our tribute to Buddy Rogers with a moment of silence for the 10 count. Lovely little bell. <laughs> These kids. That one kid looks mad. <laughs> I always felt like I shouldn't be talking right now. <laughs> and as Buddy Rogers would say, yeah. the show must go on. Is that what he would say? Yeah, those kids had no idea who Buddy Rogers was. Is that Ric Flair? And I, I saw Dr. Funkopolis comment, yeah, this ring announcer is really good. And it's weird that he's here. Hey, Troy, welcome. Sunny Stone. Oh, boy. Sunny Stone is great. Sunny Stone looks like a middle-aged, like, Dude in a comedy troupe that's doing a sketch on that's making fun of wrestling. Handsome Al. Oh, this guy rules. Handsome Al. People are wearing masks in the front row because they're embarrassed to be here. This guy likes still Jimmy Garvin's Freebirds jacket from the, the Cow the Palace. Ring. They just Sunny say Sunny Stone's a former kickboxer. The arrogant one who is making a successful return to Handsome Al, taking his lunch break. 
at the brake pad factory. Handsome Al has all of the chest hair that, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, uh Cody. Mr. Pepper Sam Cody. It is my pleasure to be sharing the microphone with you, indeed. But, you know, that cowboy Thank earlier. You. He has all that chest hair. But I love that handsome Al kind of doing the dance. All right, drugs. Take her easy. Get some sleep. Take care of yourself, drugs. Yeah, he does. Sonny Stone does look like John Kreese. Very much so. Look at that bald spot on handsome Al. Yeah. And you can tell he's trying to cover it, and it's just very not working. This is great. Oh. Get out of here, Handsome Al. I believe that is Pepper Gomez on commentary. He will be. Pepper, do you, do you believe yes, it is. Pepper Gomez on commentary. I believe they're just finding the oldest person. Oh, shit. That's the sprinkle maker. Not to be confused with the rain maker. Barely Horowitz. Thank you, Brian. That's great. Barely Horowitz. Hey, Papa L. Yeah, that ball spot rules. It brings it together. Okay, Fire First Spooky. We got uh, Sonny Stone in the uh, black and gold boxers. In the boxers. The bikers. Not boxers. Allegedly, he's a, a kickboxer. He's doing an arm bar here in 1992, so good on him. Maybe he does have a shoot background against Handsome Al. God, I love when they powder to the floor in this building. There's fuck. There's nothing like house shows. This TV stuff sucks. Got Pepper Gomez, who sounds like he's three sheets to the wind. It's rambling about house shows. Yeah, we need Sonny Stone and like Josh Burnett's blood sport. Handsome Al's like, I'm not doing your shoot bullshit. Spinning toe hold. The only person, uh, Papa L, of the young guys in these shows that went anywhere was. Uh, was young Crash Holly, who we saw earlier, Johnny Pearson, and Mae Young went on to do some stuff, but she'd already done some stuff before. Oh, we're getting a figure four. How is Sonny Stone going to shoot fight his way out of this? He's just grabbing the ropes, not even caring. Differences between the younger wrestlers that are coming up, or is it about the same as when you were their age? Well, what I see. I think we're just conducting a shoot interview with Pepper Gomez on commentary about how the young kids suck these days. More wrestling than, uh, than they do now. I'm not saying. <laughs> Stone looks like he's turning over in his sleep. Ooh. All right, I got a figure four. They're not only great wrestlers, but they're. Oh my gosh. Big wrestlers. A lot of men today are really, really big. Yeah. That's, uh, I think he's getting back to the old, old school again. Yes, right? Handsome Al and Luscious Luka Donna, if they weren't a team, then this promotion should have been ruined. And they're seeing one tonight. Sonny Son with his shoot monkey flip. Look at him and how he moves. And, of course, how he's so big and powerful, he has that resiliency. He can bounce back from some... I know exactly what you're talking about, Fire Pro, Fire Pro Spooky. I love the background wrestling game. In the same way I love Bay Area wrestling. Oh, there's no way this building's big enough for a tag match. Like, imagine a battle royal in this building. I'm pretty sure that's not Cougar J. I'm pretty sure. Hey, Asbender, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I hit 3,000 subs on YouTube last night. Thank you, everyone who's watching on YouTube who helped me get to that point. 
May Young was 69 when this was shooting. Nice. Nice. Yeah, most of these guys the shirt outcomes don't even have cage match profiles. And like the the job guys on AWF had cage match profiles. But thank you everybody for the congratulations. Onward and upward. Yeah, imagine, imagine like them bringing in like a luchador troop and doing a trios match in here. They couldn't even stand on the apron, let alone do dives. I believe the muscle guy moved to the center of the front row this time. Just completely expose how bad everybody else's body is. Oh, he's shooting. He's got a wrist lock. That kid looks sad. I would love if Bay Area Wrestling inspired Mae Young to come out of retirement. She's like, I'm. She's like, I'm so inspired by the Spanish hitman watching him at ringside every night. And she had to come back. Oh my God, a ladder match. People would actually die. Like, the fans could push over the ladder. Some of the boxing ash. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. Sonny Stone. This was some of that kickboxing. Hell yeah, Sonny Stone with the win. Kickboxing. God, that spin kick was great. Get this guy over to Hi again, Bellator. Everyone. Pat Kelly here in the Bay Area Wrestling Studios with the great Pepper Gomez. And Pepper, what advice Pepper? do you have for wrestlers starting out in <laughs> looks the world like of Cheech wrestling? Looks like Cheech and or Chong these days. Pepper looks like he's buying ads on Twitter to sell us gummies. I've worked with a few of them that that go there, and of course i think the most important thing of all is learning from the beginning that's learning the fundamentals of wrestling and this is what they teach you then <laughs> are you sure i think it's important to if learn the fundamentals the and the all of these guys need to do that the world of professional wrestling, Bay Area wrestling i love how the first shot of the uh, wrestling school commercial is the two smallest palest guys in the locker room you will become a major league competitor and will Pepper Gomez looks like he's in witness protection. Pepper Gomez, back in the day, he was the guy with the iron stomach in this territory in like the 70s. This, we're getting this quote unquote commercial again. Like the joke's funny once, but they run this ad like three times a show. Okay, and time to record. Like, these guys knew they had advertising time on wrestling every week. Probably for free in exchange for shooting the show. And that's the ad they ran. This summer, see more of the 92 Olympics <laughs> than make the trip to Barcelona. Pepper Gomez is Mike Wendell's hookup for Scoops. Yeah, they. I think Pepper did that that angle in a couple different territories, but John Tolos in in San Francisco was the big one where he jumped. Like he, Pepper Gomez would have to jump on his stomach, to show that he had an iron gut, and then John John Tolos jumped off, crossed the throat, off the ladder with the with the knee drop, put him out of action. But order now and get 15 days for less than nine dollars a day. That's a savings of 70 percent. So follow the dream team. See America's gymnasts go for the gold. Pick your event and watch it all live with no interruptions. Guarantee your seats at the 92 games. Order early for the world's first triple cash. It's going to be quite a trip. Call yeah. 800 Olympic. I should triple cast uh, Bay Area Wrestling someday. Coverage that's closer than a fastball up and in. Turn to Sports Channel for 112 A's and Giants games that you can't see anywhere else. Up close and personal player features, the roving fan cam, plus more replays and low angle shots. You get the home chair advantage with in your love over advertising. Oh, watch this channel where you can get low angle shots of baseball. Yep, the, the Olympics were on pay-per-view. Like, you could watch the major sports on NBC. But then you had to, like, order pay-per-view to watch baton twirling or whatever. Da -da 
What a shot to come back on commercial. Seriously, these these bumper spots are something. Hey, Nicholas and Fantante, welcome. Let's first welcome to the ring area. So this Jack Darnell. Greg Redondo. Oh, baby. Yeah, please don't harass some old man, Bridgus. <laughs> Jack Redondo is great. This is the guy. Every time they announce like a first and last name, I think this guy's coming out. Oh, this guy's dope. This is definitely the guy that sold all the guys in the locker room weed. Yeah, this guy absolutely was the locker room plug. I have no doubt in my mind. Rick Redondo. Look at that singlet. Maximum titty. Wait, his name's Bor. He's a Russian? Boris Gimna? What? I love that, okay, props to Boris for doing a Russian gimmick. Clearly not Russian, but he's like not doing the Russian gimmick. He's just Boris the pot, dude. Boris the stoner, hell yeah. He's giving off both stoner done. But yeah, Boris the unemployed Russian. See, when people bash communism, Boris here is the guy they think about, freeloading, because everybody's sharing funds. I, I cannot get over Rick Redondo's singlet. That thing fucking rules. We need somebody now to bring back the Rick Redondo singlet. Like, there's no way that's comfortable. Hey, stats. Under your real name on YouTube. Welcome. <laughs> I think this is the guy assured outcome. I think, I think this guy figured out, oh shit, the wall's down. What am I going to do with my life? Sell marijuana. And that's a good point, Brian. You might be an out-of-work coal miner. From Azerbaijan. I don't think Boris founded Spencer Gifts, but I definitely think he would hang out in front of it with, like, a novelty toy and make jokes to girls that were way too young. <laughs> Get it? Full body inspector? Yeah, this ref's just give it up. Partly Jeanette and yet not Steiner. To wear them out so you could beat them. And you did that very successfully. I have no doubt these two hot boxed in a car before the show. Maybe even during the show. you've lost out. Yeah, see, I have to talk like louder to be over all the individual kids screaming in the audience. Otherwise it's their stream. I have to I have to give them part of my three dollars I get from these streams. It wasn't their car. Yes. This promotion was around for a bit. I think they were around for a few years. It's not like they had to pay anybody. Yeah, I'm literally, I'm, I'm sitting on the apron 30-something years ago. Like, that's how small this building is. This where condition comes in. This fella here... Even though he's taking a lot of I'm touching the rope. Yeah, I can't do it because the camera cuts off, so the effect doesn't work. Let's see. This is where you find out how, uh, I love that these guys got five minutes on this TV show, and Boris the Weed Dealer is like, take it slow, brother. <laughs> Somebody did just scream out, how long is this? Oh. Wow. Great commentary. Like Pat Kelly. Just Rick Redondo and his itty bitty titty committee 
singlet. What's he doing? He did not call that spot to Boris. Oh, Kurt and Ignat gimmick. That's right. They're not trading Boring. They're trading Boris. Oh, Boris almost went through the ropes. <laughs> you see the in in the corner the the enemy weed dealer standing there like the like the opponent that he's feuding with cheering for Rick Redondo. Horace does have some good knee pads. Hey, when you sell the good strings, you have the money for the good ring gear. <laughs> The Russian on the outside of the ring. His age here, 38 special. Actually, you could tell me Boris is like 22 or 60, and I would believe you either way. Yeah, how do you remove that sinklet? That's a great point. Like, do you like pull it like over your head and then like like off to the side and then slide it off? Does it like zip? Rick Redondo Rick Redondo kind of looks like Steve Gutenberg doing like a wrestler thing on Saturday Night Live. And now trying to keep to keep Redondo away. Head squeezes in first, then the penis, then the legs. Thank you, Renicus Maximus. One you single it. Eventually you'll beat him. Redondo rolling his man over and hooking the leg and getting a two count. This guy's still wearing the singlet to this day. Oh yeah, Boris here is the worst Russian in wrestling history in every way. Did he just like make he just kill him? He just killed him with that headlock. I think we just won the Cold War in '92. And 90 minutes is a long, long time. Seriously, was, did he just, like, break his neck? Was that what was going on? That we're just casually talk about how Ray Stevens, uh, how Boris reminds us of Ray Stevens. Great athletes of you, great athletes at the time, and you guys are both ready for those long matches. Oh, yeah. Well, you get, like I said, condition is a, is a, is a main factor in... Uh, like, that would be kind of a cool finisher if somebody had such a good headlock and you got break your neck. But that's not what happened here. They just didn't know what to do. Boris just got lost. Hey, Big Daddy, six times two, I think is how you probably say that. Welcome. Thank you for being the flat soda and the crackers. Wait a minute. Oh, Boris just hit him with, uh, I don't know, his, like, pipe. Now, you never like to see the weed dealer win the match, because then he ups the prices in the parking lot. How do you say... I really... I... I all the winners get promos during the commercial breaks. I'm hoping and begging. Come on, give Boris a promo. Hello again, everyone. Damn it. In the Bay Area Wrestling Studios with a very special guest. Why? Guzman from the police department. That, I get, that cop arrested <laughs> Boris before the promo. That's right, um, what dare stands for Busted him for weed in the, in the parking lot. Education. And they're like, shit, can you just, like, do a wrestling promo? We go into the classrooms at the junior high and elementary level, and we teach uh, the kids to give them to All cops are bad because we couldn't hear Boris cut a promo. We wrestling are very pleased to lend our support to... Boo. Seriously, like, now I have a new reason to hate cops on top of everything else. They stopped us from being able to hear Boris's Russian accent. His mustache was lopsided. No, the cop was not a wrestler on the first show. He was just a cop. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive. There's no way that guy didn't arrest at least one of the wrestlers when he showed up to cut that promo. 
Ladies International Wrestling Association was Ooh, founded ladies. in 1985 by wrestling greats Fabulous Moolah, May Young, and Teresa Theus. The goal of LIWA, oh, a nonprofit organization, is to provide a retirement home for disabled wrestlers and a wrestling hall of fame. By becoming a member for fifty dollars a year, you will be helping wrestlers all is over the world. Is that Burt Prentice referee? No, no, that's Woody Farmer refereeing. In other words, this is a fundraiser for Fabulous Moolah and May Young's weird mansion with. Where they held all the women hostage and pimped them out. A retirement home, sure. I got the creeps just watching that commercial. To order for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling, call 1-800-338-1400. That's 1-800-338-1400. Yeah, Diamond Lil. I'm surprised Diamond Lil didn't show up in Bay Area Wrestling. To the record-setting Ricky Henderson. The all-time A showcases the complete history... I'm not a big baseball guy. I don't think you're supposed to pick up the base. Oakland A's. To order for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling, call 1-800-338-1400. All-time A that's, one That's dope. Nathan with some facts. One of those lady shows main events was Bull Meccano and Akira Hokuto, aka Raina Jabuki, her cruiserweight gimmick that we found out about last week. My biggest influence was my father. Gotcha. That actually makes sense. Thanks. See, I, I know nothing about sports. I stopped watching sports when I was like 10. I know Tony Kukoc. And that's about it. Luke Longley? Oh yeah, Jose Canseco probably hung out with those dudes in the front row. But definitely not any of these wrestlers. Definitely not Boris. We're back as the action continues on Bay Area Wrestling. Yeah, the ring announcer is great, but he does this thing with his neck. Like every other sentence that makes it look like he's about to throw up. With referee Jack Darnell. Let's first welcome to the ring area. Can I get over? They only have one referee. Robbie Allen. Wait, oh, I thought it was Ro I thought it was Radical Robbie Lee. Oh, this guy's cool. Jeremy Allen White from the Iron Claw. This is how he got prepared for the role to play Carrie. This evening is the Islander, Tony Toa. Oh, we got a fake Samoan. Oh, he's a real Samoan. Or maybe a Mexican. Yeah, we finally got a heel with a different song. And it's the Islander Tony Toa. We do not know for sure that he is an Islander. But yeah, that is definitely Jeremy Allen White as Carrie Von Erich in the Iron Claw. You'll always face experience Tony Toa is either... I mean, yeah, there are real Samoans in the area, but it's wrestling. And also, that's like the, the smallest Samoan I've ever seen in my life. And yeah, we're just not saying what island. <laughs> Do we think maybe Tony Toa was supposed to be the Spanish hitman? And uh, Spanish Hitman was supposed to be the Islander Tony Toa, and like the first week they debuted, they got like the wrong card to announce him as, and they just left it that way. Is Boris's brother next week? Jeremy Allen White, the best wrestler on this episode so far. Does he? He looks relatively nice. You can tell Tony Toa is the only guy on this show that Pepper Gomez knows. He is way more engaged with Tony Toa than he is anyone else. Tony Toa was probably his weed guy back in the day. The fans are inside wanting Tony uh, Toa to get back in that ring. And look at Robbie Allen, man. Is he ready for more action or what? He's ready to go, Pat. 
<laughs> DJ Tony Toe with a listen to you like. Groove is in the heart, but not in his boots. He threw them away. What? These guys just keep running into the poor referee. This guy has to work every match, and he's got all these assholes kicking out and landing on him. We're starting to see quite a string of them now. And, uh, of course, as we always tell the viewers at home... Shut up! up He's not Samoan. Right I don't know what the accent was, the but, but it's not Samoan. It may be Italian. He just called him a slut? That little kid, I think, just called Tony Toa a slut. <laughs> Taking it over the top here on young Robbie Allen. Up against the ropes. Yeah, Nathan, you're there. I'm not surprised you cannot find a thing about Tony Toa. Oh, gets out of that with a uh, what a kidney punch. I impact with this too. Yeah. Sending Robbie Allen across the ring. Oh, jeez. Big elbow coming out. I thought that kid's uh, hair was stuck to the wall. That would have been quite the development. For Bay Area Wrestling, we're gluing children to the walls to keep them there. One more time. Exactly, number one, Gunkle. Well, that kid didn't know what a slut meant. Just knew that it was a bad person. Even though sluts aren't bad people. Back then they were. Or they were thought to be. Yeah, Crash Holly is the only guy. All these guys, I guarantee you, when Crash Holly was in the WWF, every time they were in San Francisco, his phone would blow up. Hey, could you get me comps? Yeah, there is a documentary about this promotion. I think Chris Jericho did an interview for it. Because Chris Jericho did, like, two or three TV tapings for them. Because he thought it was, like, a real TV show. Yeah. Yeah, back in the 90s, smoking was good. Slots were bad. We didn't know what we had back then. Oh, I you, you know Spanish hitman. You know, he told all the guys at the lumber yard, hey, I'm gonna call Crash Holly. I'll be on Raw's war next week, brother. All these dudes have their own version of a tape where they're beating up Crash Holly on this show. That is a wear down So are those. Yeah, the elbowing a guy like right in the right in the bridge of the nose is a wear down move. Yeah, Tony Toa. Every time they were in town. Hey, you guys need somebody? <laughs> not, not a TV dealer. Anybody, they were all calling, Hey, does, does Tross need, like, heroin? I've got some. Hard cam appears to be in the corner because they couldn't find anywhere else to put it. It's not like those cool corner cams that they have now or they had in like WXO or uh, the AWF. It's just the guy couldn't stand anywhere else. Oh shit! Kerry Von Erich in the Iron Claw being victimized by the Iron Claw. Cool, yeah, I, I need to check it out too. I purposely avoided it because I thought it would be a lot more fun to just see these guys blind. But I will absolutely check out that doc now that we've actually seen some of the stuff. Make some sense of things. Man, John Darnielle of the Mountain Goats is so tired. He's repped every match for the last two weeks. Robbie has not had a chance. Robbie Allen, that is, a chance in this matchup to really regain his sense yeah, the, the documentary is on YouTube. If, I, if, if you need more Bay Area wrestling after, you, after we hop off tonight, go watch that Bay Area wrestling documentary. I'm sure it's a lot of guys like, man, I, I could have made it. I could have. That Crash Holly just fucked me over. Looks like a big suplex coming up. And a cover. 
two, but it almost looked like Toa brought up his man. <laughs> yeah, this poor young man is locked in Mae Young's basement. She will not let him out unless he refs all the matches. So I found this um, uh, crispy lettuce on Twitter has this really cool archive of like footage from weird places. And I'd heard about Bay Area wrestling before. Like, I know Jericho's talked about it in the past, and uh, I've just seen clips of it. But I was like, I was tossing around the idea of doing uh, a stream just for footage that nobody could claim copyright on. That way I could stream live on YouTube. And this popped up, and I watched like five seconds of it, and it's like, this is it, we gotta do this. Do you have a favorite small time? I don't, like, I think they all, oh shit, we're gonna get to see this moment talk. Um, he's fucking Italian. Oh, the, these guys, with the Maya pizza. He sounds like that Luigi Primo dude, that anti-vax pizza guy. Be All right, Jesse Ewok on uh, YouTube did some looking around. Shane Cody was working his latest Christmas 2022 on big time wrestling shows in Newark. Hell yeah, I love old. I love old men wrestlers. They're the best. Um, NWF from New Orleans. That I do have some of that. We could probably watch that. Yeah, the Islander could conceivably be like five different promotions. Call this toll-free number now and get the best of last season. Plus, Sports Illustrated's view of next year's champions. Hell yeah. I love insane right Buddy Wayne Dallas. Plus, you'll also receive there is no way. Free with your paid I know what NWF you're talking about, Incident 73. I don't want to go to jail. Um, if you've never seen the NWF Kids Wrestling documentary, it's insane. Like, it's not a good documentary, but you'll just watch the whole time, like, with your eyes really big and wide open. Kevin Marshall, welcome. Yes, a phone that's also a football. That's how we entertained ourselves in the early 90s. Tune in Saturday at one for the They really wanted you to watch baseball. Really, really wanted you. Big possession as Marshall Otis brings it up. Time running down. He checks the play. You can feel the tension. He stops. He pops. It drops. Sharutis brings one of the Yeah, guys, recycle. Oh, brother. Assholes. Again, I love these bumper shots. It's the same one every time. Like, it's really, like, really far back. As far back as you can go in that building. Like a pin. I think we need to find, I'm going to find a, a phone football for Tuesday. And just throw it across the room, Kevin. We'll, we'll do science together. Oh, this is Bill Anderson. Okay, Bill, a he was the ring announcer for WWF House Shows. In California in like the 80s and 90s and he's the ring announcer for the AWF which we've watched on other streams before the eliminator I love how all of the guy of all the guys that got a match on both episodes of the show the eliminator And again, why is everybody arguing with the guy in the crowd that has a better body than everyone in the locker room? And now the now the Jack guy's taking off his shirt. He is a man who brings I think he just yelled a slur. Wrestling knowledge to the ring. 
Billy Anderson. Billy Anderson looks so embarrassed. He becomes an awesome opponent. And then the eliminator is like, you guys. The eliminator. And it's Pat Kelly in the Bay Area Wrestling Studios with Woody Like, Fox Billy Anderson, I think, is the biggest the name at this time. Crash Holly ended up being a big name. Big, big man in the ring now. Yeah, really oh, we have a really skinhead big. in the crowd. That's why that one guy was wearing a mask. It's a Nazi. Very, very well, there's a surprising handshake. Yeah, yeah, Eliminator definitely was partaking with Billy Boris Anderson before the before the show. Uh, I think we're going to see quite, uh, quite a match here tonight. <laughs> the chat guy is a rookie. He put up the reg and just shit talking all the wrestlers because he knows they can't do anything about it. He does look like the revolting blob from Billy Madison, yes. Is that a mullet or the strings coming out of his mask? That's a good point. The heel shook hands. Yeah, Bill Anderson was the ring announcer for the AWF. Yeah, he was a ring announcer on, like, a bunch of, like, the startup. Oh, jeez. Oh, the Eliminator almost somehow burst his own kidney and broke Billy Anderson's ankle. Plucky? Get up, Plucky. Oh, that, I guarantee you, that guy in the crowd probably had more WWF tryouts than anybody on this show that called Crash Holly. Hey, Peter Crawford. Yo, Billy Anderson, you couldn't, like, him and Jesse and Hernandez run all of the startups in the 90s. I was going to say, Bill Anderson's a lot bigger than the Eliminator. He was, he was in the EWF, that's right, Peter. Billy Anderson now kind of trying to take the upper hold in the match. He's I always thought this, this hold looked awkward. Boots, <laughs> oh, they're shooting. Billy Anderson's in guard. Trying to convert over to mounts. Sunny Stone's going to come out. You're stealing my gimmick, buddy. Colorado Kid is not in this, I don't believe. From the best in wrestling today, Bay Area Wrestling. Once again... And now it's UWFI. <laughs> oh shit, These, they are kind of, yeah. Hell yeah. Bill Anderson knows something. Whereas Eliminator's just like, oh, I'm gonna roll over. Like Bill Anderson's trying to give him an, like, an opening for an escape. I used to irritate the hell out of him. You know what I used to do? <laughs> I used to annoy my opponents. I would tell knock-knock jokes all night. Thank you, Peter. That's very kind of you. I like you too, bud. Thank you for the kind words. Care of my Ada versus Billy Anderson. Their backs start hurting them a little bit, so they straightened up and got mad at me. So I wait until the right time. But I always remember one thing a fella told me one time. He says, you know, Billy Anderson's like the second best guy we've seen on these shows because he's doing good wrestling but in slow motion. Yeah, Mongolian Muller did die the other day. I feel horrible. I just did that YouTube short of him the other day. I talked shit about how he was a bad wrestler and then he died. I killed him. I feel like a real asshole. Got Minoru Suzuki against either of these guys. Would have been great. Wrestling studio audience, we tape the first and third Fridays of every month. All you have to do is call the Bay Area Wrestling Hotline to make your reservation. That number is yep. area code five. Mongolian Muller had a wild career. And who knows? You might see Pepper Gomez in here, the legend himself. Yeah, that's the thing is Billy Anderson is good enough to do like holes, but he's not good enough to make this guy look good. He's, he's I could feel that, uh, I could feel he's that not a good he's worker in the sense that he can he's make his opponent look worse by asking his opponent to do wrestling like and not just, like, mouth, kick him. I just noticed there's a monitor in the studio, so if any of the ten people by the ring can't see the action... Also, he was absolutely grabbing his butt cheek. 
choke slamming him and dropping all that body weight. Oh. Really yep, yeah, Muller did have a short WCW run. I uh, did a YouTube short about it. Follow me on YouTube. Uh, I got a YouTube short that was up on Wednesday, and then the man died the next day. Look at that train slap right in the middle of the ring. Oh shit! Strong style. Strong style. Who's gonna get it? Looks like Billy Anderson now standing up. Fire up, rolling elbow. Wrist lock again. And down goes the eliminator. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, again, this ref doesn't care about nut shots. Just boys being boys. Um, I have, I've gotten, yes, I have, people have told me I look like Unmasked Abyss. I used to have really long hair in high school. And it's, yeah, I look like he, I look like Joseph Carter. Yes. And that's really got to be a great asset. Say when you get in front of the Cow Palace, in front of thousands and thousands of people, and uh, even though you might be down, you might be hurt, but uh, you've got uh, what? It's just, it's not rough housing. It's Pepper, just the nuff housing. Pepper. Thank you, Nathan. We, we've had the record there as far as the crowd goes. Oh, Billy Anderson is throwing Sados. It's, uh, and yeah, that's a good point, Kevin. The referee's like, hey, don't, don't hit him in the testicles again. And uh, when you get in the ring, it's like, uh, it's like a new oh, geez. run. Oh, he's chopping him, lighting him up. Working snug. The referee's like, listen, the nut shots are one thing. Those chops, you're really hitting him. Stop it. Yeah, I've always heard Abyss was a really nice guy. Like, too nice for wrestling. More than the Beatles, more than Elvis, I might add. And you know something else? If uh, Stevens hadn't broke his leg, uh, we were... Uh, yeah, yeah, this match is so bad that the that Pepper Gomez is just rambling about Ray Stevens now. Again. He's got nothing to call here. He's so blown up he can't do the cocky pin curse. He's like... Ugh. <sighs> I never knew that uh, a match by promoter uh, Roy Shire was being thought of at uh, Candlestick, but wow, would that have been something uh, between you and Ray. Have something Bill Anderson wins. Hell yeah. With the, uh, yeah, they're just doing, like I mentioned it earlier, they're just doing a shoot interview with Pepper Gomez on commentary. Because there's nothing to call. The old glory inside cradle. God, this this music is great. Lavender <laughs> Russell's yes, like Fred Ottman is right now. I'm Alan Bolte, July 10th in Pittsburgh. Oh, this Woody guy, Bonner's I love this guy. In a lumberjack match, and here's one of the lumberjacks, Flying Billy Anderson. Flying much. Billy Anderson. <laughs> Woody Farmer's a legend in the Bay Area, and he'll be a legend after that show in Pittsburgh. And I'm going to be there to back Woody up in any like, way. We have multiple competent ring happen. announcers on this show. Cody, interfere. You're a dead we have more good ring announcers on this show than we do wrestlers. Okay. He is flying Billy Anderson. That guy who couldn't leave his feet. Boris, the pot dealer, was higher than that guy. This is the sixth time we've seen this commercial in the last two hours. Okay, and time to record. Yeah, and Bill Anderson could ring announce. He can maybe shoot. For the most extraordinary but not a lot of good wrestlers. Tryon Billy Anderson. That'd be a great nickname. Tryon. That should have been Brian Pillman Jr.'s nickname in NXT. Tryon Brian? All your favorite Olympic events in their entirety with absolutely no interruptions. You get to watch what you want. I love how the only advertiser this channel could get were like the generic Olympic Olympic pay per view ads. You can see all the excitement this summer. You can get all 15 days the entire Olympic triple cast package for only 125. Ryan, Brian, and Max Effort. I'm sure there's a Max Effort in NXT. Call 1 800 Olympic. That's 1 800 Olympic. Call now. 1 800 Olympic. It's an Olympic lover's dream. 
trifling Billy Anderson getting into the paperwork back in the back room. This baseball season for coverage that's closer than a fastball up and in. Turn to Sports Channel for 112 A's and Giants games wow. that you can't see anywhere else. Up close yeah, Billy Anderson had been wrestling for almost 20 years by this point. Thank you, Jax. You get the home chair advantage with in-your-face coverage of Clark, Stewart, Williams, Ricky, Canseco, Hendu, and... 1-800-4-R-SPORT. 1-800-4-R-SPORT now to order Sports Channel. What is next? That's... That's just Bill Anderson's butthole. We're all set for more action on Bay Area Wrestling. Hell yeah. And our next matchup is set for one fall and a 20-minute time limit with referee Jack Darnell. Ooh. They hate him now. True, Kevin, yes. Jam and Jason Rogers. He's moved his way from the preliminaries into the main event. And his opponent yeah. is being accompanied to the He's clearly the talking to himself, Rick trying to assure himself he can Spanish do all right. Hitman. The Spanish hitman got stuck in the entrance. He's not a jam up guy, but he is jamming Jason Rogers. Hey, Henry, you ray of sunshine. It's gonna be a Spanish hitman accompanied to the ring by Mae Young for one man crime syndicate. I believe Spanish hitman's coat is longer than he is tall. A desire to become one of the best and strong. <laughs> Jason Rogers. Was he nude when they took that picture? Many an opponent wish they had never stepped into the ring with this individual, the Spanish Hitman. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure many people. And here we are. I'm sure Johnny Pearson last week didn't. Oh my goodness! Someone did bring a sign to the show. Good thing they put them in the back, third row. Distinguished guest commentator this evening. Yeah, that's actually Mae Young. She is the crime boss for the Spanish mob in the Bay Area, apparently. This is the most engaged these kids have been with that guy next to them that I thought was a kid until I saw his mustache. It's a referee Jack Darnell now kind of uh, chasing May Young out of the ring. I agree with you, kid. By golly, she got on the apron and now I'm afraid John Darnell from the Mountain Goats. Pepper Gomez, again, he knows who May Young is, so he's engaged in this match. You might keep eyes in the back of your head during this one, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? Hitman in a show of strength there, sending down uh, young Jason Rogers. Like, Hitman's clearly, like, an older dude, but also kind of looks like a little kid. <laughs> the mother of the Beagle Boys from Tuck. The world of wrestling is all about. Oh, look at that body block. Didn't even phase the Hitman. Jason Rogers looks like Will Forte making fun of, like, 80s hair metal. Get out of the three people in this match. May Young is moving by far the best. All right, the Chiefs and the 49ers. Congrats to all the Swifties. He does kind of look like Jesse Hernandez. I wonder if there was heat. Oh, gosh, Brian. Yeah, this referee, he's like 10 matches in this taping. He's just like, fuck it, I'm not calling. You guys do what you want. Oh, God, he's got a bumper. He's gonna. Oh, oh, May bumped. Awesome. And all these kids are psyched. That's the biggest bump on either of the shows we've watched. May is mad at the world. She's losing her mind. May is mad at the world. 
I love what Jason Rogers is like, I, you've knocked down the old lady that came out with me. Let's shake hands. Boy, she's really mad at him. Well, I would too if I, got, if I took a bump like she did. <laughs> I love how Pepper <laughs> Gomez is like, yeah, she took a bump. I hope he says somebody's selling in a minute. There is a big body slam. But yeah, this guy's going. He just keeps messing with the dress up shirt. Like it used to fit. And he's really trying to make it. Oh, gee. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? What was he trying? Jam and Jason almost became. I don't know. Dead Jason. But you gotta expect that every once in a while. Sometimes things don't turn out right. And now the Spanish hitman's the working the leg, big, big the leg. As mafia Rogers. dudes often do. Ooh. Did you see that one? Jason Rogers' head hitting the mat. And the two, I thought that was That's the thing you're most worried about in the last, like, 30 seconds? Yeah, he almost got jammed up. <laughs> Oh, he just snuck up from front. Like, this building's small enough that if he would have gone any further, he would have gone through the wall. Again, Mae Young just blatantly interfering. Look at that. She creates a distraction by blatantly interfering in the match. What a choke. And again, she's getting it. She just wants to wrestle. <laughs> yeah, Paul Heyman's sitting at home after like sitting in the hotel after like a San Francisco house show. Jeez, May. And May says, "Okay, now you can get back to the matchup. I haven't seen anything like it." Oh, Bay Area wrestling, no rules. May Area wrestling. Thank you, Cajun Jungle T. Gray. I said she's got two people to worry about. If it ain't the she is literally she's working more than the than the Spanish hitman. Looks like Jason Rogers attempted May to should have worked ECW. Done you know. like the Luna thing where she just beat the shit out of men. With, uh, that would have been great. The midsection, a shot to the midsection, but now May Young choking Jason Rogers on the top rope. And he's like, you want to see me kill him? I'll cut his throat. I'll bleed all over you little kids in the front row. Oh, yeah, if May's taking bumps off the apron to the floor in this bed, she would have bladed in ECW. And there's that big side suplex. The hitman on Jason Rogers. May Young was holding him down in front of the referee. We have a winner in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen, along with his manager, the great May Young. It is the diabolical. The Spanish diabolical. I describe the Spanish hitman a lot of ways. <laughs> oh, he's gonna beat the shit out of May Young, Woody Farmer. Oh shit! They're gonna bump this ref. Good. He hasn't enforced a single rule in the last two hours. I cannot believe it. I love how this is their big angle to sell the house show with the Lumberjack match. Is May Young just like, hey, Woody Farmer? And then he beats the shit out of his referee. As all the kids are chanting Woody. And Pepper Gomez is like, dude. The referee, or the kids, and the skinhead in the front row are all chanting together. Hey, Optimum Vision, we're just finishing up Bay Area Wrestling, uh, an independent fed from uh, 1992. Hi, everyone. Pat Kelly in the Bay Area Wrestling Please let him talk. What do you think about the behavior of these two tonight? 
The manager, Great May Young, and the Spanish hitman walking over to the announcer's table and hitting Woody Farmer. That's right. That's the only time that we can hit him is because he, every time he's in the ring, he runs and runs and runs. But when he's behind that microphone, he can't leave. So that's why we got him, and we'll get him again. Hitman, that Stop. behavior is despicable. That's the way it is, man. That's the way it is, man. In the Bay Area Wrestling Studios, Pat Kelly along with Farmer. Sends his chest as hit, man. Hitman and Mae Young coming out and hitting you right on the telecast. Let me tell you something, Pat. Nobody comes out here and stops to be on TV. They're always saying I'm out here running. Let me tell you something, Pat. Pat. I can't help falling in love with you. One of the most dangerous matches. See it on Bay Area Wrestling. I, I can't get over it. They have closing credits. They couldn't figure out like a, like a, almost anything on this wrestling show, but they could figure out how to do closing credits. Pepper Gomez with one P. They couldn't spell Pepper Gomez's name correctly. He was the most famous guy in the show by far. All right, that does it for uh, this first inaugural installment of Off the Grid. We will be doing this again probably bi-weekly. Definitely will not be doing this weekly. I don't have the energy for it. I need to set expectations low. But thank you all so much for coming on a Sunday night. Uh, a lot more people than I thought would be here, so which is awesome. Thank you all so much. I'm back Tuesday night at 9 p.m. WCW Deep Cuts Live. Hell yeah, Kevin. I am on board for Off the Grid, and so are you. Hell yeah. I'll probably be back two Sunday nights from now. I'll find something else weird. Um, again, pre-show Palooza. We're watching pay-per-view pre-shows live in the arena that had matches and also commercials, so hell yeah. Um, if you missed anything on this stream, it'll, it'll be on YouTube the second I go off. So uh, thank you all so much. Everybody on YouTube and Twitch, have a great night. I'll see you in 48 hours.